Okay, welcome back. We're gonna convert our batch file to an exe file. We're gonna need a special utility for that. It's called batch to exe. Uh, there's a bat to exe converter. I've got this over on my little uh, my little website there in labs. It's also available up on your BB Learn site. You can download it from there if they're not filtering it for the Trojan generator that it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. So save target. Desktop, sure, why not? I'll save it and close. Now over on my desktop, I'll open this file. I'll grab everything out of it. So I'll just, you can choose extract. I'm just gonna choose cut. And then I'm gonna go over to C colon backslash security. In the security directory that we created earlier, I'm gonna paste. So you'll see everything pastes in. Now I'm going to run the bat to exe converter setup utility. So let me expand that out. It says language, English, next. I accept the agreement, whatever the agreement is. <clears throat> C colon backslash program files bat to exe converter. It's good to know what the path is there. Next, it's gonna create this start menu folder. That's fine. Next, sure, create a desktop icon. Next, and install. Great, it looks like it worked. I'm gonna uncheck that right there and choose finish. Then I'm gonna look at my desktop to see if it actually appeared. And there it is, bat to exe converter. So, in the bat to exe converter, I'm gonna choose the batch file. Now we know the batch file is over my C drive in security and we want test four. That's the one with the calculator in there. So I'm gonna choose test four, open. Is a visible application or invisible application. So that tells you something there right away. You could create a batch program that runs invisibly, so in the background. Working directory, current directory, temporary directory, doesn't matter. We were able to put the absolute path in our batch file so it'll run. Temporary files, delete and exit, encrypt the program, any of these things, 32-bit, 64-bit, add administrator manifest over our existing files. We really don't need any of that. Over the includes, we can add those there, version information, editor, that's the edit, and whatever the program settings are. So we're just going to choose compile, and that's test for exe. Let's see if it works. Let's go back to our security folder now. Inside the security folder, we see test4.exe. Let's double click test4.exe. Okay, opens up this little command window in the background, starts this, and I close that. And sure enough, now I got this running. Let's see if I can close this window in the background and then close my calculator. So I'm able to close that right there. That's how you convert a batch file to an exe. There are a couple of other exercises we'll do. Uh, Netcat is one of those. We'll download that next and hopefully that'll help you out with creating remote connections to your system.